welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about how to use WK WebView in iOS app using Swift 4. WK WebView is a placement of UI WebView. UI WebView we used to load web pages inside our app with iOS 8.0 UI WebView is deprecated and in place of UI WebView we have WK WebView. So in this tutorial we will learn how to use WK WebView to load our web page and secondly that how to show and hide activity indicator when our web view stops loading since uh, since as UI web view has methods that detects whether the web page stops or web page start loading delicate methods wk web view doesn't have those methods so for that we have to use k view that is key value observation key value observing so that we can detect whether the web page is getting loaded or it's completely it's loading so let's start the tutorial before starting the tutorial let me give you a few advantages of using wk web view instead of ui web view the number one advantage is that the WK WebView runs on separate thread and not on app's main thread. So that's why whenever a WK WebView loading a page, it doesn't put a memory overhead to the app. So that's increased the performance of the app. Second one is that that the WK WebView use the latest JavaScript engine and that's why it renders the page more fastly than UI WebView. There are a lot of other advantages too, so I'm not discussing those advantages in this tutorial. So if you're using UI WebView, then please don't use it and start using WK WebView. So let's learn how to use WK WebView in order to load your web page. So create a single view application template project and And create a single view application. Sorry, create a single view application template project and give it a name WK Web View Demo. I've already created one for myself and give the same name. So let's start and import. First of all, we need to import WebKit framework. So here is WebKit, and then we create a single view with where Web View of type WK Web view and an activity indicator sorry as an web let make the activity indicator of type UI activity indicator view and here we have our fiber object so let's design the app and for that we need to open main dot storyboard so here we have main dot storyboard and here we will use web view so here you can see the web view is deprecated and we have a web cute view so drag and drop it to your view controller and give it constants that is zero from the top zero leading zero trailing and zero is the bottom and add four constants secondly we will add an activity indicator view so activity indicator view goes here and it's large white or you can change the tint as well so let's make it yellow and animate it height and stop and give it a constant that is center in the screen now let's connect type outlets double click on view controller connect activity indicator with activity indicator and web view with the web view so we are done with the design and now lastly we need to add the input list permissions for the app transport so that it can interact with HTTP protocols. By default, those policies are no, set to no, and if you are going to change that policies, then your app will not interact with any web page or any HTTP protocol. So here we click here, and here we have. app transport security settings so it's a dictionary we need to add one more key here 
Oops. Let's edit here. Bundle oh. display name. We don't need it. We need and here allow arbitrary load and it's a boolean. So we set it to yes. And so now we are ready. So open view controller dot shift and now let's do the code. So first we create a URL string where or not where let URL string is equals to http admin dot apple dot com and now we need to create a request so let request is equals to URL request and it will say URL so we need to pass in URL here And the build is succeeded, so we have done a pretty good job. And now the simulator gets launched. Let's see whether our web view loads. So here you can see the activity indicator is spinning, the yellow color indicator. It will take a time since my network is slow. And here you can see apple.com is getting loaded. The page gets loaded, but the activity indicator is still still animating so for that we need to set a k view and for that what we do we will add an observer so say self dot web view dot add observer and here you can see the gist of observer will get to see k view notification so you have to use add observer for key part and here observer will be self in this class and key part will be dash Part and here wk web view dot is loading and the options will be so whenever a new event is posted from this method that this observer will let us know okay and context will be new the k view will work like that that I am observing a property Whenever that property gets changed, I will get notified. Okay, for example, you can say a progress that is suppose it, the data camps 10%, so progress changed from 0 to 10, then the KV will get fired. Okay, so that's the KV. You can go to more videos on KV. There are more, many more videos on YouTube to get better knowledge of how KV works. So now it's time to implement the KV method. So we say override, so override function, and here we say observer value key path inform the observing which has been value at the specified key path related to the observed object has changed. So here we have key path first we need to check if key path. This is required because if we want to observe many key paths. We have many kv value key path is equals to equals to sorry uh, loading so if key path and then we have if web view dot is loading then we have to show our activity indicator so we copy activity indicator and here we say dot starts animating and here we say activity indicator dot is hidden is equals to false 
to else we will hide our activity indicator and here we say activity indicator stops animating now some of you guys are thinking whether that the web view has property is loading so if you command and click on it and jump to definition you can say that this is only the get property okay but it doesn't change it only changed for the key value here is key value observing compliant for this property so if you are using this property then it won't change it only change whenever we use key value so here now let's run the app and see our activity indicator calls and the page completely load itself or not uh, app is running build is succeeded and here you can see the activity indicator is running our web page is getting loaded and here the page starts loading and as soon as page gets loaded it goes away let me scroll up and you can see there is no activity indicator no activity indicator here and now if i click on learn more and you can see the activity indicator comes as the page is starting to load the new page gets loaded and the page as soon as it's loaded the activity indicator goes away so here this is small tutorial where you learn how to use web view and show the activity indicator when the page is loaded and get it hide hidden when page gets completely loaded so this is a small tutorial on wk web view and how to use it in your apps and how to load web page on it so if you like this video tutorial then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are bringing more videos on swift in ios app development and lastly thanks for watching bye for now